Hey guys, it's Kathleen here. I'm here with my Papa Zombie and we are driving to Dragon Con. We are going to stop through Megan, the land of the Walking Dead, the game. I'm super excited about that. I'm hoping that it is at just as hick as I expect it to be. We were listening to uh, The Last of Us on our way, which I think is really cool. And I was reading a comic, which is very Ellie and Joel of us. that sign right there but it says make it um so yeah that's where lee everett and clementine are hanging out I'm kind of disappointed like i thought it would gonna it was gonna be like this like really small hick town but yeah it's pretty pretty big well i mean the the road does look like it could use a couple zombies i mean like look at that road yeah it looks like if that. we come up here and there are all the cars blocking the streets and there's dead bodies in them and people chewed up and stuff. That's when we get our shotguns out. I forgot mine. Oh. Uh, well I, I brought I brought some for you too. And I brought a flamethrower. Should I run over the zombie? Yeah, always. Oh my god, you guys, this trip has been so chaotic. Not only did I get a traffic ticket, but my dad just got in a minor accident. We're both okay. Um, he just scratched his car and his hubcap came off, but, you know, the other car was okay. They didn't have any damage and they just left. They're like, hey, we're, our car's fine. We're okay. But, oh my God, this trip has just been so chaotic so far. And I'm just hoping tomorrow is decent. Like, this has just been awful. Definitely think today, more than ever, I deserve a drink. Hey guys, it's Kathleen here in my Elizabeth costume. I'm going to buy a cigarette because I don't have a fake cigarette to use. And that's a big part of costume, so... You guys, I just bought cigarettes. You guys, we're not even in the convention center right now, and look at this. Oh my god, we had to walk all those steps. Now we're like all out of breath. Okay, Dad, contribute to the list. List of things to not do at con at the con next year. Don't put on your makeup before walking in the 90 degree weather for like two hours and putting on your costume so you can sweat it up. What else? Don't wear that. Don't wear long sleeves. Um, bring a portable air conditioner yep. on your Segway. Yeah, I just yeah. bring Segways. That would be pretty awesome. Dad, make sure let's be seg Segway uh, Jedis. Air conditioning. Oh my God, you guys, I just met Raphael Sparge and he was so cool. Oh my God. And he donates all his money for his signatures to charity, which I think is so cool because I don't think any other artist is doing that. And, okay, so I got the one with uh, Bro Chef and Kaden. Love this picture. And uh, he wrote like a big long message on there. It's actually a quote from Kaden. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, I just met him. Ah! And I haven't even met George Takai yet. But I saw George Takai's husband. Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost wanted to go up to him and be like, can I get your autograph too? So, uh, yeah. Can't wait for you to see my face after I meet George Shikai. <laughs> but I'll put a picture of me with uh, Raphael Sparge. So you got a picture. Ah! Hey guys, we're now at Grant Park and we are visiting some of the locations where they shot The Walking Dead. This is Rick's house where they shot uh, the scene where he, tragic scene where he realizes that his family is gone. Um, I'm gonna take some pictures. It's really cool. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's Rick's house. Welcome to the Circus of Values. Uh, yes, this is Morgan's house right down here. You see it? Right there. That's where Morgan attempted to shoot his zombie wife. And that's where they almost killed Rick. When, I forget what the kid's name is but I'm pretty sure they were smashing zombies' heads in right there. 
right there. So we're now in Grant Park, which is where they shot the zombie girl scene, the bicycle girl scene, as they call it, where um, that one chick from The Walking Dead, the, uh, the zombie that's like only half the torso and her spine's all hanging out, that's probably one of the first zombies that Rick encounters. So, yeah, pretty exciting. So I got back from Dragon Con a couple days ago. I was super wiped out from the drive home. I slept an entire day after I got home because the drive was so long. I had a great time though. Unfortunately, my camera was off during some of the most exciting events of the con. So I'm gonna talk about some of those events and show some pictures of those events. But hands down, one of the most exciting parts of the con for me was the night at the aquarium. They had this awesome party going on after the events on Saturday and everyone in their Bioshock cosplay showed up and it was super crazy. Walking into an aquarium, which was very rapturesque, with all of this Bioshock cosplay, the first thing that I see when I walk into this aquarium, into the Georgia Aquarium, is a big daddy and a big sister. And it was just really bizarre being in an aquarium and seeing a big daddy there. Then, when I actually officially enter the aquarium, I see a bunch of Bookers and Elizabeths all in a circle, dancing like they did in the game, and like in a circle. Miss, Miss Elizabeth. Hello, oh, this is wonderful. Well, come dance with me, Mr. Twin. I don't dance. I saw some really awesome cosplay. There was the girl who gives you your first vigor in Bioshock Infinite. There was also a really awesome Andrew Ryan cosplay. That guy was perfect. I mean, he had the golf club and everything. It was awesome. There was also a Comstock cosplay, which I didn't get a picture of. And there were some of the best Little Sister cosplayers I've ever seen. These girls were definitely older, but they were so good at cosplay. And I think one of the most important things about cosplay is knowing how to pose. And these girls really knew how to pose for their photos. They, I swear, these girls were professional, photo professional models or something because they were amazing. Uh, I wish I had just taken film of them posing for those photos. But afterwards, the aquarium had dancing and drinks, and it was so much fun. So much fun. I, I really just didn't want to leave after that. So I just want to show off some of my awesome swag because this is the best part of the convention. Um, I got this amazing portal shirt! <laughs> Um, yeah, excuse my fangirling. And I got this Elizabeth shirt, um, which, oh, I love it. So first of all, I got Dave Finoy and Melissa Hutchinson's autographs, who play Lee Everett and Clementine in The Walking Dead, uh, in The Walking Dead the game. Oh my god, I was so excited to meet them. If you haven't checked out my Lee Everett analysis, you should. I am a big fan of the comics and the TV show and the game. I am just obsessed with anything remotely walk Walking Dead related. But I also got George Takei's signature and I... I know I, I said... I'm pretty sure I said his name wrong earlier in this video. I... It's, it's very confusing. I know a lot of people call him George Takai, but I'm pretty sure it's actually George Takai. He is a big hero and role model of mine. I look up to him so much. He is just a great person. He's really involved with supporting the LGBTQ community, which I find awesome. And not only that, but he's like the grandpa. I mean, well, that's... I wouldn't say grandpa, he's like the uncle of the internet. And I I feel like I just met the uncle of the internet. So much fangirling. And of course, I met Raphael Sparge and I was super excited about that. So 
I'm going to read out loud what he put. He put a quote from Caden on the signature. I would follow you anywhere, Shepard. I am so proud to stand with you and fight. Wait, what does that say? Uh, another day and something another day. Wait, what does that say? Always with all my heart. Caden. Oh my god, I meant Raphael's Parch! Ah! So if you- I'm, I'm, I'm just a little bit of a Raphael's Parch fan. I mean, Kaden is my bro! He was with me all three games. Well, not really the second game, but- And I choose him in the first game every time, every time, because bros before hoes, okay? Dr. Tassoni. Seems like a sweet girl. Easy on the eyes. I mean, if you like the book and your sword. Just remember, Lieutenant, I saw her first. Only by a few seconds, sir. And I think that's enough fangirling to last me this week. I'm glad Allie Hillis wasn't there, because if she was there, oh, I would have had a heart attack. Okay? Look, I've got my Liara poster right there. I would have had a heart attack. Whew. I should go. Ben Affleck is going to be the next Batman. Who thought that was a good idea? I mean, I just can't see it. <laughs>